Let's start with a crazy story out of Northeast D.C. where a D.C. landlord is under federal investigation for hiring a pest control company that allegedly put raw chicken laced with rat poison by the sewers, which may have contaminated our local waterways. Lisa Earl has lived in the Mayfair Mansion's apartments in Northeast since 2013. These last couple years, the rat problem has been out of control. The rats are building tunnels in the bushes. The rats are chewing through the doors. The mice are chewing through the floors in the apartments. Um, and the chicken thing was a bit of a surprise to me. I bet it was a surprise. It was a surprise to everybody. I mean, come on, poison raw chicken. Who came up with this scheme? I'm willing to bet that company was somebody's cousin or uncle. Landlords always want to cut corners to save money, which always makes the situation worse. Now, this one didn't want to pay up. Now the EPA is investigating and the water might be toxic. Well done. Let this be a lesson to all property owners. Stop being cheap. Pay to fix the problem right the first time instead of calling a guy who doesn't know what he's doing and creates a biohazard. This rat hole has the nerve to call itself Mayfair Mansions. That's right. That's right. Mayfair Mansions. It's a mansion to the rat community, but that's about it. Now I chose this next story out of Richmond, Virginia, because it's an update to a story we've been tracking for a while. Now, Conservators opened the elusive time capsule from the 1887 that was buried underneath the now removed Robert E. Lee statue in Richmond, Virginia. The capsule contained an 1875 almanac, some books, a coin, and a cloth envelope that appears to contain some pictures that got wet. That's it? That's it? That's, that's all you got from 1870? That's it, huh? Workers been searching for this thing for weeks and the contents look like they're worth a retail value of $39.95. But if you act right now, you can have it all for $5 and a biscuit. I'm mad at whomever it was from 1887 who thought, you know what, instead of having a yard sale, why don't we throw all this crap in a time capsule? Yeah, it might be worthwhile and valuable, I don't know, in 100 plus years. The almanac was 12 years old when they buried it. Were they even trying? This would have been the most boring Nicolas Cage movie ever. National Treasure 4, Dixie Disappointment. Now, if I'm being honest, this is all our faults. We should have known better than to expect something interesting from Confederate sympathizers 22 years after they lost the war. They probably spent all their money on the bronze for that Robert E. Lee statue and the capsule was everything they had left. Now I chose this next story from Northwest DC because it's just that dope. A third grade teacher at Holy Trinity in Georgetown, nicknamed Miss Fitz, promised to give her class hot chocolate if she hit a full court shot on the playground. And you know what? She went Steph Curry on everybody. <laughs> Little kids got me excited. I feel like I'm getting hot chocolate. Do I get hot chocolate after the show? Look at how excited those kids are. Special shout out to the little boy in the reindeer costume. He was going to live his best life even if she missed that shot. It turns out Miss Fitz, aka Kathleen Fitzpatrick, actually has game. She played college ball at Rutgers University and she's reported to be best friends with Washington Mystic star and former WNBA MVP Elena Deladon. Well, that hot chocolate had better had better odds than those kids thought. I hope somebody else from the school made that hot chocolate, though, because Miss Fitz shouldn't have to lift a finger after making a shot like that. Now I'm wrapping up this monologue with one more funny social media moment from Georgetown. A tweet from Ann Spiegel shows two pictures taken in Georgetown with the caption, Line at Georgetown Cupcake longer than the line at Georgetown same day health for COVID-19 testing. I mean, what can I say? It's been a hard week and people want cupcakes. Now, Omicron ran roughshod through the area. We've all earned a treat. I wouldn't wait in line for one, but you know, to each his own. Hopefully the people in line are vaccinated. If so, I see nothing wrong with this. You know what? It's actually possible to be responsible and basic. Treat yourself or whatever Anthony Fauci said. My favorite story, you know it's misfits. I love any story that includes a mean jump shot and hot chocolate and clearly the worst story, the one I told myself as a kid that I would one day live in a mansion 
only for it to be Mayfair Mansions. It's 